Once upon a pie, a certain relationship between the circumference of a circle and its diameter was discovered. It was a magical relationship which eventually led to the wonders of pie. In the ancient era between 1900 and 1680 BC, the ancient Babylonians were able to calculate the area of a circle by taking three times the square of the radius, which produced the mystical value that we now know as pi, but was then found to equal three. In 1650 BC, mathematicians in ancient Egypt calculated the area of a circle through using a formula that gave the value of pi to be approximately 3.1605. In 287 to 212 BC, the first calculation of pi by Archimedes was completed. By using the Pythagorean theorem, his work showed that pi was equal to 3.142857. In 429 to 501 AD, Chinese mathematician and astronomer Zhu Chongzhai used a similar method that Archimedes utilised. However, it was found that he would not have been aware of Archimedes' work at the time. His work showed that pi was equal to the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. In the 1700s, the Greek letter was adopted as the symbol for pi. It was introduced by William Jones, but was further popularised by Leonard Euler, who started to use the symbol in 1737. In 1706, John Mason developed a formula to calculate pi, and it is even still used today by computer programmers. Through the use of this very formula, William Shanks, a European mathematician, was able to calculate pi to 707 places. This took him years, and he finally published his calculation in 1873. However, later it was found that actually only 527 places were correct. In the 18th century, it was found by a French mathematician that pi could actually be calculated through the use of probability. His name was Georges Buffon, Scientists have now found that some species of ants actually utilise this algorithm method to measure the size of potential nest sites. But the story of Pi doesn't end there. Far beyond approximating Pi and memorising this rational number to many decimal places, Pi's intimate relationship with circles makes it essential to calculating the circumference, radius, and area of a circle. It is also used in surface area and volume calculations for 3D shapes involving circles, such as spheres or cylinders. Hence it is also integral to calculus involving functions relating to any of these shapes. Pi's relationship with the circle also leads to a unique way of describing angles. The length of an arc of a circle divided by the radius of the arc leads to an angle in radians, a more natural way of describing angles, resulting in more elegant trigonometric relationships. Pi is found in more than circles, however. In probability and statistics, oftentimes the distribution of experimental results around a mean value has a particular shape, a Gaussian distribution or a bell-shaped curve. This distribution can be found by a function that includes pi and the area under the curve of this shape can be found by integrating e to the minus x squared between negative infinity and infinity, and gives us an answer of the square root of pi. The analysis of complex numbers is also made easier with pi, and mathematicians have been known to get passionate about the beauty of Euler's identity, which involves five of the most fundamental mathematical constants, e, i, 0, 1, and of course, pi. Pi's identity is popular with groups other than mathematicians, however, including astronomers and astrophysicists, where they follow Einstein's lead describing the interaction of space-time, as per Einstein's field equation. Pi also shows up in quantum mechanics, where Heisenberg's uncertainty principle describes how the error in approximating either position or momentum of a particle is limited by a relationship between two constants, one of them being pi. And the story of pi continues through whole fields of mathematics, computing, and physics. So pi and the circle will live happily ever after.